Oh, my gender. Okay, I am uh, a male. The console will determine my base stamina, skill, and luck values. Oh, awesome. Uh, calculating skill. <laughs> my skill's only seven, so I'm shitty. Can I re-roll that? Oh, I guess not. What's my luck? <laughs> oh, come on. I gotta re-roll that. That's shitty. Dude, come on. Seriously? Jackson's Starship Traveler. This is like a choose your own adventure game, which you can get on Steam uh, if you're on the PC. Um, it's been sitting on my list for a while. I haven't touched it, but we're going to give it a try right now. I know nothing about the plot or even really how to do it. Uh, let's see here. I'm about to be flung through a black hole into unknown space. Well, that's great. My only chance of return will be to find another suitable black hole and guide the ship through it back to your own universe. Well, no pressure there. You must first choose your difficulty setting. The game book is designed for optimum challenge on the classic... Whoa, what is all this? What is that? Okay. It's stuff, alright. We recommend experiencing the game in free read mode. Classic. Classic difficulty is a faithful recreation of the... Oh, so there's a printed version of this. All right, that's interesting. Like an old school cheater. Free read is set up in the same way as classic mode, but it's different that it gives you three options to easily negotiate your way through the book. Back button. You can move backwards to the previous page should you take the wrong direction. <laughs> I used to cheat at those choose your own adventure books. Something fierce, man. Because, I mean, if you got the wrong ending, you just backtrack. Free choice button. You can unlock all links irrespective of whether they are available. Heal me button. Uh, what do they recommend? Free read mode. All right. Free read it is. Having served as a dedicated officer of the Astro Navy. <laughs> Astro Navy. Cool. For many years, your experience and skill has been rewarded you promotion to captain. Enter your name on the registration console. I'm Captain, uh... Oh, jeez, I don't know. There we go. What? What's the X for? Oh, my gender. Okay, I am, uh, a male. console will determine my base stamina, skill, and luck values. Oh, awesome. Uh, calculating skill. <laughs> my skill's only seven, so I'm shitty. Can I re-roll that? Oh, I guess not. What's my luck? <laughs> Oh, come on, I gotta re-roll that. That's shitty. Dude, come on. Seriously? Uh... Okay, wait a minute. Take me back. I want to start over. That's bullshit, dude. There is no... Dude, there's no way I am starting with uh, shitty skill and luck. That's bullshit. Boop. 
Restart book. There we go. Yes, please. Do free read mode. And we could change the font, right? Let's change the font. Eh, that's fine. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try this again, huh? I think these auto dice rollers are rigged anyways. Calculate stamina. Oh, shit! 24? Alright, well... Whatever comes up, I'm gonna keep it this time, because, uh... Come on! Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. You gotta be joking. Alright, so my guy's like Captain Kirk then, or some shit. Alright. Let's talk to the Admiral. I arrive at the Admiral's quarters to receive my mission briefing. Admiral Jackson... Hold on, let's kill this music, dude. The music's killing me, so... Uh, Admiral Jackson, my superior, enters and I salute. He explains my mission, my main goal being to seek out new planets and explore uncharted sectors of the galaxy. Yeah, we've never heard that before. As the Astro Navy's newest captain... <laughs> You are to be assigned a starship. Admiral Jackson directs you to choose the following. Uh, take the starship traveler. Oh, I choose my own starship. Hell yeah. You decide to take your own ship, which you christen the starship. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Uh, there we go. Um, to complete the inspection, you perform a diagnostic check in a new ship. Calculate weapon strength. Whoa. That's awesome. All right, so weapon strength of 12. Let's calculate the shields. Uh, shields are, I don't know. I don't know what those numbers mean. So if they're good or bad, we'll find out. I know I'm rolling high in the die, and I don't know if that counts. Uh, with the diagnostic check complete, myself and the Admiral are satisfied that my starship is in perfect working order. Follow Admiral Jackson to assemble your crew. Admiral Jackson offers you two choices when assembling the crew of the starship Void Wraith. Uh, get right to the action. Take the Admiral's recommendation. Be more strategic and handpick my crew. Let's pick my hand crew. Let's handpick my crew. First, cho choose your science officer. Oh, oh man. Oh well, I can. Uh, should I use real people's names? I don't know. Yeah, why the fuck not? Eh, I'll change them a little bit. I'll change the names a little bit. <laughs> Maybe their gender as well? No. All right, we'll keep it like that. Skilled in advanced technology, chemistry, and many forms of language. They're an invaluable member of the team. Well, hell yeah, you need a science officer. Uh, I know I'm skimming some of this stuff. I'm sure you guys can read it. Uh, calculate. St All right, so they got stamina. Jeez, my science officer is one tough son of a bitch. Yeah, let's see what his science skill is. Whoa! Damn. Yeah, let's continue to assemble my crew. The med medical officer. Well, who's my medical officer going to be? Let's see here. Uh, okay. I spelled Catherine wrong. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to... I'm not going to name them entirely uh, off real people, but they female. Med officer, I think I know. Uh, restore two stamina each crew member. Yeah, what's their stamina? Whoa! Why are my crew better than me? That's I'm, I'm going to stay on the ship, man. Calculate medical skill. All right, so she's decent, I guess. All right, engineering officer. Uh... Who's going to be my engineering officer? Okay. Their gender is male. Uh, Well-versed in all things mechanical. They can make, repair, create machines. If something goes wrong... Okay, so what's their stamina? Five, so they're kind of a sissy. So we're going to keep them on the ship, probably. Once again, I don't know what any of these numbers mean, so... Can, am I able to put pictures in here? I don't understand. Or not. I don't know. Security officer. Wow, it's in red. 
Oh, I know exactly who this is going to be. My right hand, my my right hand man, Mikey. There we go. Let's do mail. Uh, okay, so security and guards are important because everybody else gets a penalty. So he's I, I don't know, it's average maybe. He's good at security. First security guard. You were introduced to the first security guard. They're both wearing red shirts. Fantastic. If you're a Trekkie, you know exactly what that means. We're going to give this guy just the first name, Jacob. Mail. It's 20 stamina. I guess stamina is like hit points, maybe? Four. Okay. Second security guard. We'll call him or her. Let's call her... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Rebecca. Done. Their gender is uh, female. Calculate stamina. Whoa! 23. Becca's tough as hell. Whoa! She's easily the best security guard. That's awesome. Okay. Admiral Jackson hands me a tiny bundle of fur. It's a small white cat. That one of the most important parts of this mission is to travel to the effects in a pet. Uh... Oh, the cat's name. I she's all right. Uh, all right. Okay. Cat's name's Churchill's. I got chirping going on here. All right. With my brave crew of the Starship Void Wraith, you give Admiral Jackson a salute. Maybe flip him off. I don't know. The admiral gives you one final look at the ship's cat and says, "Take good care of Churchill. Godspeed, Captain Seth Dillinger." I should have picked one name, because I got a feeling like this is going to be really awkward to read. Suddenly bursting in and out of breath, a young man arrives. He apologizes profusely to the Admiral for his delay. Admiral Jackson informs you that this is Ensign, that this Ensign is a son of an important senator. Oh, God! <sighs> what is this, like the Wesley Crusher of my ship? The Ensign's name is Jackass. All right. There. I got a feeling this is like the Wesley Crusher of this book. He's late. He's going to probably save the ship. He's probably going to be the only one that survives. You are not ready to set off. And take your seat in the bridge and prepare yourself for the adventure ahead. Dismissed. Already we got bad shit happening. <laughs> From my seat at the helm of the Starship Void Wraith, I study the VDU anxiously. I don't know what that is. A view screen, maybe? Engineering section has reported an overdrive malfunction, which has locked the warp engines at a 10% velocity gain. So we're going faster and faster. You're watching the velocity indicator advance rapidly through the safe region towards overload. I hit the communicator button rather than press it <laughs> and call engineer for further news. It's not good. The malfunction cannot be traced. It will take another 13 minutes for a systems check. I'm going to turn the music back on. This is, Maybe there's uh, dramatic music. <clears throat> All right. It's not good. The malfunction cannot be traced, and it will take another 13 minutes for a systems check to provide a full analysis. We are heading towards... A little bit of a technical difficulty here. We are heading towards the, the Sel Seltzian Void, a known black hole. You may or may not avoid it. Well, I'd like to avoid it if possible. But Science Officer Brian Weiss Wiseman <laughs> has another plan. If you swing the ship through its immense gravitational pull, its gravity drag may help reduce your speed and you travel away from it. This is worth a try, but the navigation tuning won't be precise. You swing the starship hard to starboard as we enter the Celestial Cel Celsian gravitational field and pass your eyes nice on Blah, 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 blah. Well, what the fuck? I thought we avoided it. I hit the red alert button. We weren't already at red alert. It struck all ships first and strapped themselves down. An almighty explosion rocks the ship. All the crew, including you, lose consciousness. That's fucked. Myself and other crew members, members of the crew, are regaining consciousness. Again, I hit the communicator. I gotta stop hitting stuff. Why don't we just turn it on or press the button? All systems appear to be intact until engineer reports... Engineer reports that the warp drive engines are dead. I am floating in space. 
but my drive reactor should be operational in 20 to 30 minutes, so I'll get on it. My navigation officer is bewildered. He cannot identify my whereabouts and the computer reports that we are in uncharted space. Science officer Brian Wiseman has run an event analysis and you appear to have gone through the black hole through a dimensional warp and we are now in what seems to be a parallel universe. I hate it when that fucking happens. After some delay, we regain warp drive. Long range scans indicate there are three solar systems ahead of which two may have intelligent life. What are my orders? What are your orders, Captain? Uh... Shit, I don't know. Go to the Baron system. You increase speed towards your destination. Suddenly a red light appears in your control panel. You hit your communicator switch and contact in the engineering section. We'll have to cut speed, Captain, cries engineering officer Aaron Pratt. The reactor must have been damaged more than I thought. Well, you're fired. Why didn't you have it fixed? I can't hold her. You ask what exactly the problem is and learn that your supplies of delibrium crystal are almost exhausted. Delibrium is a naturally occurring mineral common throughout your own galaxy. The raw material can be mined and the void rate is equipped with a processing plant to convert it to nuclear fuel. Well, that's convenient. You must begin searching for the mineral straight away. For without delibrium, your ship will be unable to travel. All right. Well, let's investigate the asteroid cluster. Where did... It doesn't say where it's mined, so... Yeah, let's check out the asteroids. Sensors scan the asteroid cluster. In the center of the cluster is an asteroid containing some delibrium. Well, what a coincidence. But it is impossible at this range to ascertain exactly which asteroid is the mineral. You may investigate by sending out one of your officers with a jetpack, but the going will be dangerous. The center of the cluster is a mass of whirling asteroids, each one big enough to kill a person. Risk sending out one of your crew. Decide against the risk and head onwards. Fuck. Uh... Can I send the Ensign out? In the airlock are jetpacks and EVA, extra... I know what EVA means. I'm a sci-fi nerd. Suits which enable crew members to move... Wow, this is annoying how this shit comes up. I wish they could shut that off. Which enable crew members to move in space outside the ship and also provide protection against the vacuum outside. Whoa, no, there's no air in space? Wow. The going is easy on the fringes of the cluster as the asteroids move slowly and they are well spaced apart. Closer to the center, the going is done. <laughs> Closer to the center, the going is more tricky. Which crew member sent to mine asteroids? Shit, I don't know. Uh, you're up, Mikey. Send it now. Uh, I can't change that. That's bullshit. You watch Mike Slattery head into the asteroid field outfit in their EVA suit. They head towards the huge rocks which drift through space, randomly crashing into each other. This will be a risky one. Risky task. Roll one die. Uh, okay. You rolled a four. If you roll between two and five... Nearing the center of the cluster, Mike Slattery darts about avoiding the asteroids which constantly flash past. Well, how fast are they moving? Occasionally one will hit another and will fly off in certain directions. Different directions. Uh, using a portable scanner, they locate four asteroids, all bearing delivery of ore. Well, shit, I don't know. Head towards the, the first asteroid, I guess. The officer gets to work with their micro-excavator. Speaking to you through the communicator, he announces a, sub a substantial deposit. Plenty for your ship's requirement. Packing several kilos into a porta sack. Uh, aren't most sacks portable? They leap from the asteroid and dodge their way back towards the ship. Roll one die. You rolled two. If you rolled two or higher. Passing through the airlock, Mike Slattery hands their porta sack to a member of your engineering team who takes the delibrium ore off to the engineering section. One hour later, Aaron Pratt announces that they have enough delibrium to get the ship underway once more, and you may continue on your course. Well, <laughs> that was fairly routine, thankfully. We approach a small blue-green planet and take up orbital position. You scan the planet for signs of life. It appears to be lifeless, but the scanners are giving some strange readings which you cannot understand. You try an all-frequency radio message but receive no answer. Suddenly, the scanner picks up a signal, probably a ship of some kind, traveling towards you extremely fast in orbit from the other side of the planet. You switch to visual and can see two missile-shaped objects hurtling towards you. You 
hit the red alert. My guy hits a lot of things, man. Should probably be gentle with the controls in this ship. Hit red alert and activate shields, waiting to see what happens. From nowhere, a blast hits the ship. Four more missiles are fast approaching the Void Wraith. In this battle, the missiles get the first attack. Each missile is destroyed, whether it hits, misses, or is shot down. Alright, how do I do this? Incoming missile, right? Okay. So do I just... Hit us. Taking damage. Fire. Oh, do I have to... I gotta get it in that space. Alright. Uh, or I don't know why. Okay, good. So they... Am I fighting the missiles of the ship that fired them? That's what I don't understand. Yeah, good. Fucked their day up, didn't we? Your crew managed to skillfully destroy the missiles, protecting the Void Wraith from attack. What are your orders, Captain? Alright, let's try and talk to him. Maybe it's just a big misunderstanding. You try another all-frequency message, but get no reply. Another blast rocks the ship. Form of missiles are faster... Alright. They're tagging us again. We've been hit again. Fire. So, I don't... This is really strange. I don't understand how that combat works, but okay. I guess we survived. Another blast narrowly misses the ship and you decide to retaliate. Fuck yeah, we're gonna retaliate. I tried being nice, but now you're gonna be an asshole. A star cruiser. Quick combat. So we blew them up, right? I don't understand how this combat works, but... Okay, they're down to three shields, right? And we're down to six? Oh, Jesus, they just got 12? We're fucked. Oh, they missed. I don't understand. Fire. That would be a lousy starship captain, dude. I don't get this. Shield's holding. All right, so they didn't hit. Oh, breach. Yeah. What now, bitch? Resuming orbital position, I scan the planet again. Although the readings are still puzzling, you cannot find positive signs of life. Well, let's beam down. Why not? Assemble your crew for the planet. Well, we're going to need the science officer. Security. I can only take two people with me? All right. your two crew members prepare to beam down to the mineral-rich area. Sounds seconds before you do so. The ship's ensign jackass appears. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What does he want? Despite your insistence that he stays on the ship, he beams down. <sighs> totally fucking Wesley Crusher it is. We land on a precipitous cliff overlooking a ravine. A terrible wind sweeps through the land, which seems to be rocky and barren. As you cannot see much of interest from where you stand, you decide to descend the ravine. If only to shelter from the wind. As you descend to the ravine, you use your portable scanner. Just call it a tricorder and get over with it. Behind you, hear Ensign Jackass complaining of thirst. What a... Yeah, fuck him. You're thirsty. Well, we all want to go home, so... Oh, is that him? He 
You tell Jackass to toughen up and fall back in line. Yeah, right. I'd tell him more than that. I'd tell him to shut the fuck up. Look at downwards. You can see what appears to be a stream... Ugh. A stream running along the valley, and you climb down to investigate. Your scanner indicates that it is water, but gives a strange reading. Ensign Jackass continues to complain about the heat. Then Ben is down to take a drink of the water. You order him to stay away, but he has already taken a sip. It tells you not to worry. That the stream, as the stream really is water. Oh, this guy is going to be a fucking fool. I can see it now. The bank of the river is a natural-looking deposit of a yellow-colored powder. Which your scanners cannot analyze. Other than that, this planet seems to be totally barren. Uh, let's continue. No, let's take the yellow powder up to the ship. Let's continue exploring the planet. Alright, let's beam up. You and the crew beam up. Course for the binary star, I guess. Uh, it's called the binary star system, but whatever. The void ray speeds towards its destination. Suddenly, an excited voice comes through your intercom asking you to go out of the canteen where there has been a disturbance. What kind of disturbance? Is it a fight? Oh, God, it's the fucking moron that we took to the planet. Yeah, escort him off the ship. Excited crew members rush towards you. Shouldn't it be like angry or upset crew members? Although they are all talking at once, you get the general gist of what has happened. One of the crew seems to have gone mad. He has been throwing trays of food around the canteen and fighting with other staff. You open the door and find him being held in a corner by three of the security crew. That's so the entire security crew, right? Because <laughs> we've got uh, we've got my security officer and his two uh, chums. Not an easy task. You recognize the troublemaker. And guess what has probably happened? It's Edson Jackass. Yeah, well, the water was giving off strange readings. Why'd you fucking drink it, moron? He is now a raging madman. Seeing me, he calms down. Will you have him released and try to talk to him? Call for a set of drug? Well, I don't know. Ask for a report. Even though he's an idiot. 